Hello and welcome back to Esports Varsity 2018 with Staffs and Kiel. We're here for day two. The score is two all. Day one was pretty intense. Kiel took Rainbow Six Siege to start of the day. Staffs fought back quite literally in Dragon Ball Z and Super Smash Brothers, taking them both quite convincingly, putting the score to 2 1, but then Overwatch was taken again quite convincingly by Kiel to bring the score to 2 2. Today we're going to be starting off with Rocket League, heading into some Hearthstone, some Counter Strike Global Offensive and then finally ending with League of Legends. It's too old, any university could take this. So we're gonna get straight in to the Rocket League with your casters, Callum and Terry. That's the one. So we're gonna stand it straight over there and get the game started. Enjoy the day. I'm Callum and this is Terry. We're gonna be your casters today for Rocket League varsity. Uh, our players are ready to start off the game. All we have to do is just wait for them to join and we're ready to go. <laughs> we have Q on blue and staffs on orange today. Nice strong kick off by Drumzo, losing it. Well, it has gained possession for blue team, so we'll see if he managed to transition it into a good play. Stellaris with a dodgy area. Quincy just waiting about the midfield, seeing if he can get a nice shot and goal. Staff defence jumping about here a bit. See Not the blue red had uh, original pressure, but you can see Orange begin to formulate a counter attack. Cool. Now Keel now pressing as Stellaris tries to cross the ball in. Nice shot. Drumzo's going to try and scoop that up and maintain pressure. Ooh, Stellarith with it. Oh, Ooh, Drumzo with a goal there. It's a nice uh, whiff from the staff's defence, leaves the net open. Drumzo's so waiting in the perfect position to take that shot. Yeah. Just shows with good rotation, you're always in the right position. All right, head kick off again, Stellarith. Ooh, nice even kick off. Drums will pick up that ball and try and shoot on net just high. Ooh, Again, we see a couple of whiffs from the staff's defense there as Sarah uh, tries to cross the ball in. Drums is going to make a challenge there at the midfield and try and hit that ball center. There we go. Ooh. Again, we can see Kiwi University immediately starting off with more pressure than uh, staff University. So we can. Oh, Jumzo's going to take a shot here. Oh, just blocked by the staff's defense. Synthwave now with a chance to push the ball forwards. The first uh, real attack we're seeing from the staff's side. However, Princey just will carry that ball over the top of the net and pinch it outwards. Wagon Wheels is going to challenge Princey there. Nice challenge, but Celerith picks up the ball. Jumzo, oh, attempted double touch, just missed. Stellarith, last man back now as Askey presses the ball. Managed to get a nice challenge forward. Staffs are now on the back wheels. Princey's collecting the ball there. Maybe he's going to try an air dribble off the wall or something. There we go. It's definitely been noticing Kiwi and have a lot more pressure overall. We'd say our possession is about 80% of the time or something. Uh, yeah. so Even more, I'd say. Yeah. Occasionally, Orange no manages pressure. to get a, a chance, but Oftentimes, pressure by Blue is just taking them back out again. Ooh, a double commit there leading to a miss on goal, unfortunately. Drumzo should have probably left that for Celerith. Princey's going to scoop all that ball and stop moving it outwards. Celerith with a shot on net. Ooh, Wagon Wheels manages to save. Drumzo's going to try and cross that back in. Oh, oh he's, he's going for it. Searing shot. Oh, oh what searing shot, double Drumzo's. touch. That's magnificent. You can see, as he goes off the ceiling, he doesn't actually jump, so he actually managed to get an unlimited split for set, which he saved just for a perfect moment to be able to drop that goal right, right into the net. Very well done by John Zars there. Oh, nice even kick off there, but it will drop back to the heel half. Oh, Princey there with a near instantaneous goal. Well, you see, Kiel here is just overpowering staffs in every like, aspect of the game so far. 
Yeah, I'm noticing staffs being hesitant a lot of the time. Yeah. You see all three of them somewhat near the ball, but none of them seem to be wanting to. Uh, it's just another to goal actually going for it. From Peel, that just led by bad defence from staffs, not able to get a good clear on the ball. I think that's what's letting them down in this game is the fact that they're never able to clear the ball too far out of their own half to regroup and get boost. Yeah, they're, it's mainly for possession at the moment. They're always a wee bit too far away from the ball, meaning that Keele University can just catch up to it before them and continue with pressure and possession. And as you can see, it's led to a free now we lead so far. Oh, it looks like it's going to be another goal here. Never mind. Uh, Wagon wheels managed to get a good clear for staffs. Oh, but the net is again left open as uh, defenders aren't rotating back to net and waiting up. Which is what you really need to do on defence, to be honest. You can see both Asi and Sunwave just creeping out of the net there when we really should have been back post. Tough little bit. led to no defence for the goal. Nice strong even kick off here. Drumsaws is going to try and pick up the ball on the wall. Oh, Synthwave, but That's reasonable a clear. Orange. Unable to contest the defence there. Oh, Drumsaws trying to cheeky redirect there. The ball will be crossed back in. Oh, Princey scores for this. Is that Princey's first goal? Or? Oh. Right, let's see if we can get a cheeky look at the score. Nice angle by right, Princey. Great kick off here, Drumsaws manages to just push the ball right into Staff's half, he'll cross it in. Or will he go for a goal? with the backboard pass to the shot, oh. and it's a goal for Keel. All three team members there are all playing their role and getting the ball between all of them, not letting Orange have any possible plays there. Very well done by Keel again. Celeris to kick, kick off. Oh, oh wow. Nice dead kick off there. I'm pretty sure he managed to stop the shot on goal by Staffs. I think Stella is going to try and put that on goal there, just whiffs it. Oh, but Princey there, nearly pinching it right in the Staffs net. Trying to pass it out there. Yeah, you can see Staffs just getting tangled amongst each other there. Well, they nearly yeah, had a good opportunity to counter there, but it wasn't quick enough by the Staffs team. And there's another goal from another left, left entirely open. Uh, staff, so just have everyone going or no one going, they don't seem to have much coordination at the moment. But it's almost as if they haven't got comms, well. to be honest, at the moment. Yeah. I mean, it needs to be our main focus at the moment, see if we can bring it back. Yeah. Unlikely at this point. At <laughs> this point, best just mentally resetting and focusing on the next game. Oh, yeah. Unless they just want to try and see if they just don't get shut out entirely this game. And here's an opportunity as Synthway is pressing the ball out, but he appears to have little boost and he's not able to press that forward and still get a counter attack. Oh, nice block in the defence by Wagon Wheels, but it's quickly cleared back into the staff's half by Drums up as uh, Sellerif will start to press this attack here. You know if Staffs could get one goal here before the match ends. Oh, I don't know. For the mentality. With the Brazil yeah, scoreline the looming, they might not want to. Yeah, I could do the opposite with that. <laughs> oh. Nice little play there by Keel. Princey just missing out on that goal. Uh, that's, a nice yeah, uh, that's the end of game. Keel are the winners. Uh, six nil up. Of course, it's the best of five, so there's plenty of opportunities for our staff to okay. catch up. We just saw very no shots at all on goal there by staffs, to be honest, as Keel, uh, each player managed to get off six shots apiece. You just see that the attack there is a lot overpowering in that game. Yeah, an absolute onslaught by Keel, really. Yeah. They've also, as you can see by the scoreboards, they've been very even, no player being greedy. They're, they all know where they need to be and when, and they'll just be. Yeah, drums or and Princey particularly perfectly. popping off in that game. I don't know whether that's just with them being gifted all those <laughs> opportunities on net, to be honest. Could be the stage set and just give them a, that little bit of boost. Oh, yeah. Because maybe we're just seeing first game jitters in here from staffs. Yeah. Could be. But nevertheless, next game we want to see from staffs is more long clears and uh, just communication. Yeah. 
focus on possession as well. We're trying not to let Kiel okay, have too much of our hands. Spread themselves out a bit and stop these double commits. You know, they could do well. Right, start of game two. Kick off. One by Ramsors. Saras is going to try and pick that up. Oh, that nice quick goal, goal by Kiel. Kiel are wasting no time to get into possession to sneak off of that kick off. And you can see that there's no real defense there. Simply just stopped. not take a nice line to that ball, it started to curve yeah, towards it. Yeah, kind of just led to an easy goal for Hill Uni University. The lack in speed there. Askew's going to try and press it forward. No, Drumzor's going to push that centre. Princey, nice shot. Oh, oh just shot. Barely out. Alright, now a chance for Staffs to press this ball out. Oh, he's got it over one defender, but it'll quickly be rounded up. Teller is going to take a long clear a here. here. Redirect by nice Princey. Oh, oh, and that's on goal. Done. It's 2-0 to Kiel. It's a very nice pass by Teller from in. Well packed up by Princey just to finish it off and get a pass with the defence. Yeah, and you can see though that even though they were getting attacked on, Staffs just didn't have that last man in goal ready to make a save. I think that's a miscommunication in the kickoff there as well. Yeah, just to show any solid rotation here. Salah's going to take a shot and it's going to go right in. Nice double touch by Salah as well. Great read off the backboard as well. Wasted no time jumping in there and staffs are just left hopeless. Two players in there and neither of them can make a save there for some reason. I just need the man in the back wall there. Just uh, try and intercept it in the back wall before we could actually get the rebound. Drumzor's going to take a shot. Oh, he whiffs slightly. Princey's managed to make that challenge to stop the staff counter-attack. Very nice, nice pass pass in place here. Ooh. Oh, between three different Teller members. just hitting the post there. Well, the pressure continues. Let's see if we can keep it up. This could be a chance for staffs. It looks like here we're going for a lot of solo goals here as they realise that Staffs aren't putting much of a defence up. Nice shot, Ooh. just high. Ooh, but will he be able to put it back in? But no, it's a pass to Sarah, and it's a, another goal for Kia. Yeah, left defenseless again. Just always shots. Yeah, just a flail ball. there by the Staffs last man, not reacting properly to the shot and just hitting those double jumps. Yeah. Even if a shot doesn't go in the goal, it just draw defenders out and. As when you're a defender in that position, it's really hard to see where your car is in relation to the ball, and it can get very confusing. Yeah. To, uh, Another so goal by, by Drumsor. Wagon wheels there, just failing to get a solid challenge on that ball, and a pinch, uh, just not respecting the player order there, and just taking the ball away from his goalkeeper in the clear. See the ball here? <laughs> Prince is going to pick this ball up and start pushing it forward. Synthwave maybe with a clear here. Oh, it's nice and high actually. That's the first we've seen for Staffs, but Salaref will try and pick that ball up and Drums will start pressing it forward. Nice pass into Salaref, who's just going to touch that right into the top of the net. No chance by the Staffs defender to save that there. I'm noticing a slight improvement in Staffs' possession in here. They've We've generally had a defender in the to just not quite be acting in time to the goals. Very yeah, it looks like they're just trying to limit the onslaught here, to be honest. Yeah, I think uh, at this point, our comebacks unlikely, but we could just focus on what we need to do to. I mean, if they started playing anywhere near like Kiel on now, uh, three minutes isn't too bad for getting six goals back. Oh, just managed to save that with a nice little touch. To the side of the net, Prince is going to pinch that back in. No one's in defense, but no kill attacker, and that'll just roll in there once again. All staffs that will probably be there at the same time. And was that a pinch all the way in? Oh, <laughs> that's a little bit of luck involved. A nice, so nice, a nice slow goal there, just as all the staffs players were trying to chase that ball at once. Kill seven goals ahead, quite the mountain for staffs to try and climb. Try and cross this back field, field, but it It'd works. Oh, Drumzor with the whiff. That's unlucky. On That's the open net. chance to try and get a, a consolation goal, maybe. Uh, no, it looks like another 
So just from that was our chance that we had all three players following the ball. We were just leaving no defence and Seller was able to swift in and get the easy goal. Just even if you can't get the rotation down there, the spacing of the stats players is just atrocious this game. It's got to be the main priority even going forward, just to try and make sure we always have the players in the right possession at the right time. And opportunities arise just from that possession alone. A lot of ball chasing going on by Stas, really. Yeah. Oh, nice little whiff there by Synthwave. Yeah, nice Synthwave little by touch Q. in. Oh, oh he's so he's going to do that himself. all by himself. As uh, no defense is being put up there, really, by Stas. Just touches it over Aski. A and nice big. little hit. I'm going for a, a much harder tap there. He, he just taps it very lightly. Just yeah, throwing off the defense and imagine to get the ball around there. him. Prince, he's going to lay that across, Salary. Oh, he's just going to get it past Synthway. Brums all there. Nice little team goal attempt. Salary is going to pick this up and cross it back in. Oh, no oh. defence and a nice easy goal. Wagon was doing well here, we sitting back. Nearly. It's how we just managed to Pincy break with the whip there. Sarah's going to try and touch that in. Uh, and no clear there by the stats player. So Pincy's going to just pick up that open net. And it's a 10-goal lead. It doesn't look like stats are coming back from this one. Um, if I'm honest, I don't think they can win the series. Yeah. At this point, the players have shown just how how dominant they are, to be honest. Yeah. Well, it's definitely worthwhile for staff to just try and work in their cause yeah. and try and at least get a few goals in in the next game. Yeah, if they can get one goal, I reckon they can go home happy, to be honest. As uh, yeah. It doesn't look like they've... I don't think Kiel have made one save so far this series. Yeah, they were bound of always going into it, but uh, staff's were, so they have nothing to lose, uh, really, and might as well just try and have fun with it and and yeah, as many goals as can. Oh, touchdown. Oh, Drumzo playing for Staffs, it seemed, feeling sorry for them. Nice little attack there by Aski, but he's blocked off by Salareth. He'll no bump Drumzo. It's a shot on net. Oh, saved by the Staffs team. And Wagon Wheels is going to make the second save, but the net's yeah, left open as well, so he's going to tap that in. Yeah, once again, there's just... Too, too much onslaught from there for Orange to handle and just eventually it's too much in leads to a goal. It's just constant goal. pressure by Keel and the staff's team not able to keep rotation and defence. They're just, just breaking apart really quickly and that's what's led to this scoreline here. Another yeah. team goal by what happened to the defenders there. Keel, uh, no defenders to make the save. Her, Princey her perhaps going for a nice little doomsday dish there, but Drumzor is just going to take it off him. All three, <laughs> all, all three Keel players on that ball. 52 seconds left in this game. I think the punishment should end Keel soon are, for staffs here. He won't show me much mercy at all here. Just trying to get as many goals as they can. I wonder how much replay time we've had here. Probably more than the actual game itself. Oh, another shot on net and a black flip by Synthwave and net there. Just unable to make any touch on the ball to save it. And just to clear though, it goes right out to Seller if he's just going to touch that on target. Uh, knowing that staffs on are potentially just going to whip and not save it. Yeah, very few, cl few clears coming out from staffs and the clears that they do man, you just go straight to a kill. So, yeah. so it's going to try and play this out. A nice little air dribble outwards. Staff's unable to get on the ball. Oh, nearly has the solo goal. Trying to get a shot on net there, but the demo just threw him off a little. This could be a chance for Staff to manage to get the cards right. But it, it could be. The ball is starting to creep towards the ends again. <laughs> There's always a chance they might get a goal. Kind of rooting for him to get one. Yeah, it least. would be nice to be honest. Somewhat happy. Oh, a save there. Uh, so unexpectedly clear. so. Princey, can he oh. get the one second goal? Oh, oh Seller is going to steal that there. Just a bit of a shambles in the staff's defence. The save was nice reaction time wise, but he just puts it up there and it's always going to come back down. And Keel are just going to take that shot. Yeah, we end up finishing the game 14 now, even, even worse than the first game. Oh. It Staff looks like Kiel have just, have just wo wisened up to how much better they are to uh, staffs, it seems. 
I mean, maybe it's just the fact that they played together so often compared to Staff's team, but we see we've got a rookie and a veteran there, not many hours in on the game, and Kiel with two Rocketeers there. You know, hours-wise, uh, Kiel just have more. They've been playing the game longer, and they seem to be uh, have a lot better ability at it. You see in the, in the chat, well, Staff's are still having fun with it, not taking it too seriously. After all, it's just about fun, and might as well just try and play him back as much as he can in the next game. Oh, just a little banter there in chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving on to game three. This is most likely going to be the end of it, but let's see if staff can, can maybe make the unexpected comeback. Back. Maybe they've been hustling this whole time. You never know. Drumzo's going to take this kickoff and he's going to win it strong. He has been doing this all game. His kickoffs have been quite strong. Uh, Celeris is going to try and touch that centre. Drumzo, another oh, touch centre. Nice Ooh, Fairly messy Princey though. attempting to dunk that in. Wagon Wheels is going to take that out. He's going to be challenged at midfield by Celeris. Going for a little jubble attempt, maybe. Uh, not quite. Never mind, he loses control. But I mean, if you don't get it first time, you've only got so much time to just control that dribble and make a play on net. Drums are going to try and touch that center. Oh, oh that double just net. takes out Celeris there. If there's any chance for Staff to play. But Celeris yeah, immediately manages him to get back in possession. And they're, speaking they're, composer. they're being given so many counter attack opportunities, not really being able to make anything of them. The ball's going to go center there. It's going to be over on quite some time. Synthwave just missing the clear there. Just standard whist. The net's left open. They're all bumping <laughs> each other. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> that, that. That, that, that is some kind of abuse <laughs> there as Princey just faking all three staff players, it seems, at once. Just wait, waiting it out. That is some montage material Staff's right just there. getting tangled up amongst each other there and just expecting a shot and he just waits it out. Very nicely done. But you see, if the there was communication match. there, one of the staff players could have gone for it. Yeah. Yeah, if they all didn't have to if he just had one that. going for the ball, that would have been enough to be able to ease off that pressure. But you can just see a lot of panic from Staff into defence, and like as we see, just leading to another goal. Uh, one minute in, and Kiel are already up by two goals. Once again, just about an overcome. Just all three and members going Teller for the ball. Teller is showboating there with the uh, nice turtle goal. So we've got Jums and Sam Wave in the kickoff again. Oh, and. Some way of messing the kickoff there. Oh, Drumzo with the goal. kickoff goal, just beating the player there to the kickoff. Just like Staffs just aren't getting quick enough, and he just chips it over everyone. And See, a bit of a doink into the goal there. Yeah, the, the miscommunication <laughs> defence just leads to him taking the goalkeeper completely out of the play there. Double commit and a nice little doink into net. Askew's going to take that. They're kick faking off. the kickoff for some reason. Oh, a wobble in defence by Keel, but they're able to recuperate and get that ball outwards. Princey's going to take it maybe up the wall, trying to pinch it in. See, this is the opportunity to counter-attack by uh, Staff's team, but uh, Princey's just going to lay that centre, and I think we're looking at another goal. You can see Seller just lurking in the middle, waiting just for that waiting, inevitable yeah. pass, really, at this point. Not a question of effort, it's a question of when and yeah, when is yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> nice little backboard pass there from Peel. Uh, just slotted in. Those are quite hard to read from a defence standpoint. Nice. You can see both uh, players just trying to boost up the ball there, but yeah. unable. Nice touch by Celeriff there. The ball was ready in the air and he just tapped it with the underside of the car. Just a light tap just to bring it down for his teammate to secure the goal. Yeah, and the shot just right below the staff defence. They couldn't get to that ball. Oh, a tap oh. over the goalkeeper, and that's Celerit with another goal to his high tally this series. Oh, that's nice. Uh, just hopping just over the defence there. Just a little whiff by the staff defence there. Uh, just the ball's put centre, and it looks like the defence just weren't expecting it there. Strong kick off there, drums all whistling, balls on centre, out. and oh, that's a shot on net by drums all, just saved by the staff defence. Oh, Princey with a cheeky ceiling shot chance. Oh, nearly managing to drop it down to his team, maybe not quite reaching it. It looks like uh, the Kiel team are treating this as practice now. Yeah, drums has already got that wonder goal from the first game, so. Oh, Sarah trying to put that to his teammate in the box. 
not managed to get the drums off. Prince is going to try and take them on all by himself. Oh, a nice little pinch there, just going sideways. I mean, good possession position. for a clear, but not quite managing it. Drums all though, with a little whip trying to cross the ball in. Uh, now Staff's trying to press the ball out, but the double commit on the wall leads to Princey just making an attack there. Right, yeah, it's more Prince strong clears from Staff's mainly. The clears they do have are just not really reaching very far, and it just uh, it barely reaches out of our own end. We need to just try and get balls farther and more. Oh, that's just going to lob the defense. Uh, just Staff's not really making a uh, anyone decent attempt to save that ball there is you see Synthwave just trying to do a backflip save there but too far away from the ball. It looks like they're just not able to read the plays at the moment. Yeah, it's looking like here we're trying to beat last game's records. See if they can manage it. <laughs> uh, Prince see, yeah, a nice demonstration of ball control well. there. He's going to put that in all by himself. John's just trying to go for the steal ball. All players now just trying to, trying to boost their score, it seems. Yeah. Might as well, best point. It's Strong unlikely score. for staff Strong to make a comeback there. there. Cheat by staff managing to keep the ball in heel half, but they're going to push it out now. Prince is going to pinch that in. Oh, and it goes straight on net. That's lucky for the staff defense. That's point, I'm just somewhat rooting for staff. So Wagon yeah, wheels just getting goals and just dunked on so hard. Teller is going to take this kick off here. Askew is going to beat him. Uh, Drums is going to try and pick this up and clear it out. You see a nice high clear, what we're not seeing from staff. That ball. Oh, a nice Very pass nice down to Teller, and he's just going to top that right in the top corner. You see, there's a lot of sound here of this team. Oh. Drums is to Prince to Teller. Nice team. One, two, player. three, and it's not a single member of staff's managing to get any say in where that ball was going. Styling on them there. Quincy, strong kick off here, Cheat misses the ball, Drums was going to try and put that right on net, but Synthwave is ready. Ooh, the back foot there nice missing, but wagon, wheels. wagon Wheels is in defence. He's going to try and press this ball out, he looks like the strongest player on the Staffs team to be honest so far, does Wagon Wheels. Aski, ooh, he <laughs> leaves it on the backboard for some reason, yeah. and it's just going to get passed in, and so it's going to clean up. It's looking like we could possibly be beating last game's records here. Ask yourself if joking around in the chat, but that's it's gone now. Uh, so we can see Saps aren't going to come back here, but maybe, just maybe, they might get that constellation goal. You can see that uh, Kiwi even working on their kickoffs here. Jumps us purposefully letting that ball go back right so it goes straight to his teammate and just have immediate possession off the start. Oh, and a nice. Oh, and a steal just from a Teller. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a shorter version of their team play from them. <laughs> minute and six left for this game. It's a pure of a series. 11 going for a higher score than next game, last game, it looks like. Oh, I'm going to fake that kick off. Prince is going to put that high. Can Teller just make that clear off the backboard? Yes, he can. And a shot on net as you get the dunk. Oh, oh yes. a nice little doink over the goalkeeper by Princey there. Oh, yeah, so is going to go for the dunk here, but Princey's there. He's taking it off. It's it's nice, the right in the top corner. corner. There's no the saving there. The defenders are just not realising Princey creeping into the box. Oh, take away from Princey there. Staff's going to try and push forward, but. Oh, Princey nearly snuck another one in. CK was just going straight for the teammates there. Saw his defence and the goal. Saw that there. He had a teammate just inside of it. Still goes for his teammate. Can often work out better in the long run rather than just going straight. That goal left over there as two defenders just double commit to that ball on the wall and both, both miss it. Aske almost made the back. Nice little pass centre there by Celery. And uh, we'll just get cleaned up. Seller for the nice kick off there. Drums is going to flip it forward. Nice little team play there. One, two. 
Oh, Princey though, nearly solidifying yeah. another goal for Kiel. So no chances for Stark here. Oh, Chapel goal left over. Everyone pressing forward. Unfortunately, Kiel unable to uh, take advantage of that as drums are missing the pinch on the wall. We're going to pass that into Celerus. Celerus going to. Ooh. Don't know what's happening there. Nice bit of communication by Kiel trying to keep that ball oh, up. Every time oh, the phone go not quite. Can't get the own goal, unfortunately. I don't know, that's a close spin to that net of a pro series. And that's three games for Kiel. And Kiel is secured to come back to. Very well done by them. Staff's just got to focus on their flaws and possibly come back in the future and <laughs> just the try and get a goal. Here. Very well done by the hero boy today. Just staff's not really putting up much of a fight in any of the games. Uh, best scoreline in the first game, but I wonder if that was just nerves by Keel being on the big stage. Could be, uh, a lot of confidence it appears they've uh, gotten as they've just increased the scoreline each time now. Yeah. I think, uh, I can't remember what game one was, but it was 14 0 second game, 13 0 best game. Just goal after goal, including some very nice team plays. And the highlight of the series for me has got to be John Zora's goal. Yeah, highlight has got to be John Zora's goal and to get the first game ball off the ceiling. That was really oh, yeah, nice that's going to be a highlight goal of the series, to be fair. Really, really nice goal. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, well, so we see that. We have some interviews of the players in a couple minutes. Just okay. staff's not putting a fight in any single game there. Yeah. So I was kind of rooting for him to at least get a goal or two, but it would have been nice if they could take something home. Yeah, but we do. Kiel have just clearly got the practice, they've got the experience, and they've just the better team done today. Well with it. Yeah. yeah. We've got to thank Overclockers and Enhance for today's event. And of course, the Kiel University for hosting as well. Just. A nice dominant display by Kiel there, really. Yeah, sure. uh, the staffs couldn't really do anything about anything there. Uh, beautiful rocket lead, to be fair, yeah. on a team that really didn't make uh, much of an effort to defend again. Yeah, I do hope to see staffs again in the future, possibly. A lot possibly more do a lot better than they did today. About just watch over the series is what I might recommend it to them. Just see what their main flaws were and just work to fix them and hopefully come back. I'm really looking forward to seeing the part of that first game though, just seeing that ceiling shot by Drums or yeah, play of the match really by nice far. Game. Well done, I'd love to see that again. Just a display of excellence by Kiel, really just loads of solid goals on net. Noteworthy ones, especially that little touch over the goalkeeper by Prince who we saw in that last match, just sliding it yeah. right into the top corner. Staff's able to do nothing about it. I was actually impressed by the team plays shown by Kiel. Like there was a good few times where they just, you know, say John Doris to Prince, to Seller, just all three members playing their part and working towards yet another goal for the team. Oh, no. It was nice to see a lot of passing players going on. Yeah. That's it. I often find passing plays to be a lot more impressive. It requires a lot more, yeah. A lot more elements coming together just to make sure that it works well. Yeah, just compared to a solo play where it's just the one, one person. player controlling the ball. A lot of reliance on your teammates when it comes to a pass and play, and when it comes together well, it's always really impressive. Especially to see, like with what Kiel did, just passing in the air, like they do, the accuracy that's required to do those is uh, quite a high standard. Yeah, just non-stop pressure really from Kiel, and Staff as you can see, breaking over well Likely with one of the players from Kiel, I believe. But we'll see soon enough.
super mode tonight with SPEC 200 about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're just going to move over to the interviews now. <laughs> Hello and um, welcome back. Wow, lads, what a uh, what a victory! Crikey! So, uh, pro players, maybe? Maybe so, yeah. <laughs> how did how did you find it being on the stage? I it's I love the environment. Like, it's the first it's the second time I've been on the stage since last year's varsity, and it's just unreal. Like, you get more nerves than usual, but I think that really helps your play. Awesome. And um, how have you found it yourself, dude? Like a uh, second varsity, um, you know, well, what atmosphere, uh, how much uh, kind of like the players really get into it. Is, is, is that passion? Like, is that what brings you here? Uh, yeah, I guess. And uh, based on last year, we've uh, improved a lot, especially myself and Sam, we're both in last year's. So we've got a new guy with us now, Jake, uh, who was first year. So he's going to be around a bit. But um, yeah, we've definitely, definitely improved from last year's performance. Like it was very dominant display this time around. Oh yeah, I heard last year they lost. So we did not. Have <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last one game. I thought you lost all games, but definitely me improvement. Oh, so so, so maybe you're the keys of victory. I, I'd like to say that. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I got a great team. If if you watch the games, like the passing plays are unbelievable. Uh, so yeah, I'm just super happy. Uh, I, if I if I have an MVP trophy, I would certainly uh, pass it over. <laughs> awesome. Oh, cool. Well, great victory, lads. Great victory on that. And uh, that's 3-2 uh, to our kill. So uh, good start to the day. Awesome. Take care, lads. <laughs> um, so uh, yesterday, we also had a half stone, which was oh, incredible. But we've luckily to have two of our uh, finalists coming in today. Um, so would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Chris, and I'm repping Kiel. And I'm Joshua, and I'm representing Staffs. So how did you um, find it yesterday? Uh, give me like uh, the perspective. Uh, the quality of decks that everyone brought was really good, given the uh, strange format we're playing. And it was every single game I played, I felt like I had to play my best to actually win it. So it was wor well worth it. Fantastic. And yourself, dude? Uh, I unfortunately didn't get to play the first game. However, the second game that was played against Patrick, who brought some bonkers decks, must be uh, addressed. He is an amazing player with some amazingly stupid decks that works. It was such a good game. Awesome. I, I spoke to quite a few of the players, actually, and they all agreed with you. It was actually one of the most competitive and fun environments. And uh, they, everyone said that someone's got something unique to offer. And that, that, that was just incredible to hear. Like, uh, Would you like to see more events like this in the future? Yeah, without a doubt. It's, uh, it's, it's really unique. I've never played in anything, any tournament Hearthstone based like this, and it's been a really good time. And uh, yourself, dude? Yeah, I definitely look forward to more Hearthstone. Uh, it's a game which I enjoy playing, but just not a lot out there, really. So, Sure, cool. And um, have you uh, been to like a Hearthstone event yourselves before? Is this like your first time? Uh, it's my first like proper event, but I've played some online things before, uh, like onli online tournaments, but nothing serious. Cool. And uh, yourself? The exact same story for me also. Just a few online ones, that's about it. Oh, okay, awesome. So um, anyone getting into Hearthstone, like you've made it to the finals, like what, what kind of tips like would you give? Um, fig yeah, go face. No, uh, fi figure out what class you like most. Figure out what deck you like most, and you just got to play it and learn it in and out. Just got to learn the trades. Make sure you stay on top of board. That's about it, really. There's a there's a, there's a general vibe that sometimes I hear. Uh, Hearthstone. Um, it's kind of like uh, the loot crate perspective. It's a uh, pl play and buy to win like type thing. But I I see actually quite a bit of skill at times. Like where it, what 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 is it that's like the key to like victory with certain decks? Is like it you got to stay in the meta or? Uh, you can stay out of the meta and still win. You, the most important thing is making the most out of every card you draw because you might not draw the one you want, but if you use it properly, you can still win. Uh, just having all the cards doesn't mean it's an insta win. Like I said, just knowing when to trade properly, playing your cards correct, it's the only real way to win. Awesome. Well, we're really excited uh, for the finals. Uh, good luck to you both. And uh, it's been a great day so far. Uh, we will be going off the air, but um, we will be shortly um, back afterwards. So stay tuned.